In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to mirror your Android phone to your Chromecast. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you the new way to mirror your Android phone over to your Chromecast device. So in this video, I will be using the newest edition of the Chromecast, but you can use the Chromecast Ultra, you can use a second generation Chromecast, or even a Chromecast built-in device. So first, we're gonna make sure that that device is set up on our Wi-Fi network. Now on the phone, you do need to make sure that you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So here I am on Wi-Fi, and it's the same one that my Chromecast is connected to. We also need to make sure that our power saving mode is off, which it is and your Android version needs to be Android version 4.4.2 or above. Most Android phones these days are, so you shouldn't have a problem there. And then one more thing to check, just to make sure that you're not having any issues, is to go into your apps section here in the settings, and then you're gonna go down to the Google Play Services section, and under Google Play Services, you are going to go into the permissions section and make sure microphone is turned on. So if that has been done, you are now ready to begin casting your screen to your Chromecast device. So now to cast the screen, all we need to do is head into the Google Home application. And then here you'll see a new redesign. If you haven't seen how to use this, make sure you select one of my videos at the end to learn more about how this works. But you're gonna click the account tab on the far right, right here. And then down here, if you scroll down a little ways, you will find the mirror device option. Now, when you mirror your device, there are two ways that you can mirror. One is you can actually mirror your entire phone to the TV, or you can mirror the audio that your phone plays to a supported Chromecast audio device. So first, we're gonna start off by mirroring our screen, and we are going to select the Office TV right here, as that is the TV that we are looking at on the screen here. So now you can see instantly, it shows my screen over there on the TV. Now, some of the reasons you would want to mirror your screen is maybe an app doesn't support casting. So if you go into Netflix, you see the casting icon, you click that, and that will send the video to the Chromecast. But here, anything that you see on your phone will mirror onto the TV. So if I want to play a game on my phone and everyone else in the room wants to see it, all I would need to do is open up that game. And here I can play it and you can see that it changes over there on the TV at the same time. Now, another reason is maybe I want to just share the pictures on my phone. So I'm gonna open this up, load up a few pictures, and now whatever my phone sees, it is going to show up over there on the TV. So even if my phone is in landscape mode here, you can see that when I select through these videos, they change over there on the screen. So it will mirror identical to what your phone sees onto the TV. Now there are some weird apps that won't show up over there on the TV, but for the most part, this is a great solution to get your pictures the fastest way up on your Chromecast or even a video that you're watching from a non-supported application. Now we can even go into our camera if we would like, and we can see that our camera will mirror up there on the TV if I go to the front camera. So then everyone can see what you're doing here on the phone right there on the TV. So then if you wanted to play some games, you can even do that. So playing um, some Fortnite, I didn't have any issues. There was only a slight delay between the two, but I didn't experience any excessive lag or anything. It was actually pretty playable um, here with my Wi-Fi network and my phone that I'm using here. So then if we wanted to look up something on the web and show it on the TV, here I can open up a web browser and then I can see it there. If I zoom in and out, you will see it move at the same time there. And the quality is really excellent. You shouldn't have any problems with how it looks over there on the TV, but it renders really, really well, depending on what phone you have and the resolution it can output. And again, turning into your landscape mode, we'll put the full picture up there on the TV. Now, if you would like to disconnect from mirroring to the TV, all you need to do is pull down your notification shade here, and there you'll see casting to screen, and here I can select disconnect. Now, another option is if we go in, back into the Google Home app, we can select disconnect right there, and then that will disconnect. But let's go back here, and if I go into my local devices, and I go into the Chromecast that we're using right here. So this is the Office TV. Here I do have the option to adjust the actual Chromecast volume. So I can change that right there while I am mirroring. And then again, here I have the stop mirroring option. So I can select that and it stops mirroring. And then my Chromecast goes back to the ambient mode. 
Now, depending on which Android phone you do have, there may be another way to actually turn on screen mirroring. So here on my Galaxy Note 9, I can just go into the notification panel and here in the quick settings, I do have the smart view option. So if I turn on smart view, it's then going to pull up a menu of all the available Chromecast devices. So here I can see my Chromecast Ultra. I can see the second gen Chromecast upstairs. Here I have a Nexus player and some other different items. But right here, I want to actually cast to the office TV. That's what we're using on this TV right here. And so you can see that now it is mirroring my screen just like that everything shows up. So some other Android devices might show mirror cast up in the settings or screen mirroring, but here on the Samsung phone, it is called smart view. So that's one other option to easily get into the screen mirroring options instead of going all the way into the Google home application to be able to do that. Now, the second option that we had here in screen mirroring, if we go back here, go to mirror screen, I can stop casting the TV, but if I click cast again, we see a bunch of speakers. So this will actually mirror the sound of our Chromecast to a certain speaker. So I can mirror it to any cast supported speaker like a Google Home, here I have my Google Home Max. I can even cast it to an office group. So the group of audio right there all at once. So let's cast it right here to my Google Home Max. So there we heard it connect. If I go home, now anything that my phone plays will play over there on the Chromecast audio wise. So if I'm using music that's downloaded to my phone, it's not on any streaming service, I can just go into here into Samsung Music and then I can go into my download folder and then here I can start playing some music and that will play through the Google Home Max. So now if I want to adjust the volume that's playing to the speaker, I can just turn the volume up right here or I can even go back into the Google Home application. Again, I'm gonna go back into my local devices and I ended up choosing the office speaker right here and so I can change the volume right here. And then again, I can stop the casting right here. So this is really nice to have if you have music or content on your phone that is not on the cloud and you want to send it over to your Google Home device without actually casting the audio. Now, one other option of things that you could cast is an audiobook. So here, if you use Audible audiobooks, it is not supported in casting. So you can come in here and play your audiobook onto the Google Home without having to connect to Bluetooth or anything like that. So this is another great option to use when you are casting audio from your Android phone to your Google Home device. And again, if you want to stop casting the audio, just go here into the notification bar and there I can select disconnect or I can do it in the Google Home app. And then no audio from your phone will play through the Google Home speaker anymore. So there you go, that is the new way to mirror your Android phone to your Chromecast device or to your Google Home via audio. If you guys have any further questions about how this works, please let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see more about the new Google Home update, make sure you select the playlist over here on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.